Mm. Okay, this Nexus 5 has no Wi-Fi. You can see it's stuck with Wi-Fi turning on. And I can't turn it off unless I go through quick settings and go to here and turn it off. Basically, Wi-Fi is dead. And this is, I fixed this once, but I'm going to fix it again and show you how I did it. Hopefully it lasts for longer than a day. So first step is to take it apart. You can find the method on iFixit. I'm just going to quick do it and I'm not going to use any tutorial because I've done this so many times. <laughs> okay. Now we have our motherboard. Oh. Now we have our motherboard. Don't don't be as mean to your motherboard as I'm being. So when we look at this, what we want to mess with is under this metal shielding. Now my theory is that this metal shielding doesn't allow enough heat to pass through because another Nexus 5 motherboard I was looking at doesn't have this at all. So I won't be putting this back on in hopes that it will my fix will last longer than a day. The Wi-Fi chip is right under this circle. Right here. So what we're going to do now is wrap the this whole board of aluminum foil except for this Wi-Fi chip. Okay, now that we've gotten to this point, now let's take a piece of wood or something that we can set this on to where it gets hot, no biggie. So we have we have our Wi-Fi or motherboard here and uh, cheap insulation and now we're going to take our heat gun and if you look at the heat gun if you, if you can see there low is 700 degrees and high is 920 degrees we'd want to be no more than 800 so 700 is okay off what I've researched so I'm going to stick with low I, I figure if I'm a bit colder it isn't too bad then I'm warmer and I'm going to be doing this for 8 minutes and eight minutes starts now. So for the last 30 seconds, I'm going to kind of get further and further away. Right now I'm about, I don't know, three inches away. I'm gonna kind of ease off, not really circulate. I mean, I'm off camera now, I'm probably like eight inches away. Just keep it away. I don't know if it does anything, but whatever. Okay, a little, a little under eight minutes. I got no. Be sure when you put your heat heat gun somewhere that it isn't somewhere that will like melt anything. Okay, so it's gonna be pretty hot. So let's pull out the uh, tweezers. Just start pulling everything apart. Here, I'm gonna put my tweezer through the hole. Okay. Now it's very hot at this point, um, because we just heated up this area quite a bit. So I'm going to let it sit for, I don't know, let it sit for like a few minutes. And uh, just go from there, because I'm not sure, um, I don't want to mess with it while it's uh, still cooling and yeah I mean I just just kind of messed with it but you know I, I have no idea what I'm doing but it worked so I'm rolling with it okay so it's almost been five minutes of it sitting doesn't feel that warm I can touch it and lift it so we're good so keep in mind whenever you do it you always have these if you don't take out the camera you always have the camera things not wanting to go in so um, first off, make sure you get under these connectors on these sides here, and then try to get your uh, camera connector through. And I, I'm not worried about shorting anything because the batteries aren't hooked up. But you know. and I made it. Even got the headphone contact and everything in. Sick. Okay. Now just put everything back together. Do the battery last if you can. It's just a good practice. Just and f just for now, I'm gonna put it on without screwing. I wouldn't recommend this, but I'm just putting it on just so the Wi-Fi antenna's hooked up because the Wi-Fi antenna is on is on the back. 
No, I'll screw it in later, but right now. Right now I just want to see if it works. So moment of truth, if it turns on. Yeah, it turns on, okay. So we didn't fry the motherboard, that's good. And people put this in their ovens for like at 300 some degrees for eight minutes. Um, yeah, I figure I did um, about half the time last time and it lasted a day. We're gonna see what happens right now. Yep, and there it is, Wi-Fi is working. Now, how long Wi-Fi will work, I'm not sure. Let's see if it actually works. Let me go to speedtest.net. Can you find your phone now? I typically get around 20, yeah. Um, so it's clearly working pretty well. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna update the video description to say whether it actually worked longer than a day. <laughs> We'll see, but that is how you fix, temporarily fix the Wi-Fi in your Nexus 5. The proper way of doing it would be literally taking off the Wi-Fi chip and cleaning off the old solder and putting new solder on, but that requires some crazy skills and I, I don't even have a solder gun, so this is what I'm limited to. Hopefully you have the same experience I did and good luck.